All right, how's our loans? Okay, Thomas is happy. Lyle's not happy. Why? Why are you unhappy, Lyle? He's better than the players around him. You chose to go there. Don't want to hear it. I bet Taj says the same, same thing. Feels he's better than the players around him. I, you know what? You throw the knife in the air, sometimes it lands on your dick. Can't help you. It's a factual statement, Grimoth. I mean, I'm wearing a Los Angeles jersey, so that brings the violence out of me. It's my West Coast persona. Y'all are lucky I live on the east side of the Mississippi. Malasona. Oh, that's well played, sir. Very nice. Ho, ho, ho. The great spy master strikes again. A clean cut wound straight to the heart. Does Klaus Delgar deserve an international call up in your opinion? Yes. The dude is amazing. Uh, I'm going to give Matty Longstaff a start. Denmark head coach Roberto Mancini has been responding to the media in the wake of recent questions. Drake FC Stephen Thomas has spoken passionately regarding Klaus Dalgard's chances of an international call-up. Is the player on your radar? I can't say I see the same player as Thomas does. I'm not so easily impressed. Okay, Mr. Roberto. I don't know talent. Aw. I'll put I don't know Mancini. That sounds good. He just don't know. Picks notes not to throw lives. That's right. Could not just pull a knife out of the door. I'd probably get suspended or something if I did that. Newly promoted Drake FC going to this game as slight underdogs. Even though we have the home advantage, we are Jack White Stadium. Drake FC have so far confounded their critics as the preseason relegation candidates currently lie in 12th place in the Premier League table. They're looking for a win to mark out their credentials of avoiding a relegation struggle this season. They're on a three-match unbeaten run, Bournemouth is, and they occupy 10th place. Your match press conference, my assistant, he gets paid for that. Hey, Doogie Patterson got called up. Doogie. Astute press conference from Moore. Nottingham Forest face Liverpool and will be hoping to win and alleviate the relegation failures. Can you see them staying up? I just want to concentrate on my own team. Very astute. Very astute. Obviously, astute England means something totally different to me here in Kentucky. What, what, veggie? What are you talking about? Let's give everybody some uh, bo boost of morale. I feel like we're going to need that going forward. Uh, well, he needs to know what talent is. He doesn't think our youngster Delgar deserves a call up. I think he does. For one, it would raise his value. And two, it would make me feel like I'd found somebody that's really special. He just needs to put his arms around him and help make pottery. While that song from Ghost plays, I totally don't remember what it was. I have to look it up now. 
What was the pottery scene music in Ghost? Unchained Melody. Yeah, I should have known that. Duh. The Righteous Brothers. For some reason, I could picture them, but not the song. Eddie Longstaff wants a long... I'm not going to give him a new contract, I don't think. He's so old. He's 29. Hey! Tommy Doyle got him to believe uh, he doesn't need a new deal. Good job, Tommy. I may give you a raise. Grimmett's going to sing for us, everybody. With lyrics like I've hungered, hungered for your touch. A long, this sounds like a masturbation song. I mean, they are rubbing pottery out, so maybe I missed the whole concept of that movie. And he was dead, so... Technically, she got ghosted before it was a thing. <laughs> you gotta tear me apart, Lisa. Oh, uh, <laughs> this clay's wetter than I thought it would be. Ace Burstow got called up. A lot of our players got called up for international duty. All right, we're at home against AFC Bournemouth today. A win here would look really good on a resume. Tommy Doyle is still not ready to play. Sam Curtis is a little wore out. Rubikins isn't much better. Um, but Ben Goodluff on the bench today. I'd like to get Boyd Mar Marwood in there at some point. Oh, is Cla Klaus is back today, so we'll put him on the bench. So I may give him a start today. And then put uh, Bursto on the bench. I didn't realize Ben Goodliffe was 30. all the planes coming in all right we're at jack white stadium we're charging 30 bucks a pop to come in we're inconsistent they're inconsistent but they're coming off three wins and a draw we got two losses two wins what do i want to tell them today let's put my hands in my pockets i'm gonna tell them to uh make a difference because the fans are here for them Eventually, I want to start out working the ball in the box. Where do Drake FC need to improve here after not being able to scratch and get in Newcastle? Uh, we need to focus on our style of play and really score. How big of an absence is Morgan Rogers? Uh, this is part of the game. Injuries happen a lot. We have to challenge ourselves to move forward. Bournemouth's recent good run is in second in the Premier League form table. That's form, not where they're at. Uh, they're going to make life good, uh, hard on us. Uh, we're a good team in good form. We'll have to be at our best. All right, let's see what we got today. John Brooks is the official today. Wow, the temperature went from 73 degrees to 48 now. We've got Klaus Dalgard up front. Lockhart Kit coming back off injury and Oko Flex up front. 
Derry, Longstaff, and Venetius in midfield. Murphy, Binks, Pollock, and Curtis in the back line. Lewis, Lord, and Gold. They got Federico, Vinyas, Solanke, and Guigon. Oh, man, that is a... Oh, oh that's such a strong front. Uh, Gallinucci, Kelly, uh, Borgiorno. I think his dad makes pizzas. Uh, Acomia and Milans in the back. Cook and Varela. Varela. Uh, in defensive midfield, and Uwusu in goal. Yeah. His dad doesn't get delivery. They're getting the Giornos. Whatever his name was. All right, we are off. 12,713 fans in attendance here at Jack White Stadium. Look, it's clearly right there. DiGiorno. Oh, Klaus Delgard free kick here. He goes for it. Oh, oh, that looked like that was in. It's in. The youngster coming off suspension puts it in the net already. Over in Wusu bounces behind him off his butt cheek. One nil Drakes. That VAR could do all at once. That goal line technology. Go. Put it in there. In the books. I can't believe you've been rewarded for violence. That's right. I am dangerous. But you could be my wingman anytime. All right, one, one nail here early in this one. But they are pushing out the Galanucci. Varelia in. Block. Curtis clears it out. Kelly will bring control of it. Bring control. Cook out the Galanucci. Varela. He'll send it over to Milan's. Murphy will head that away. Laka Kit tries to get it. That ends the highlight. Komea, he'll go back to Nwusu. Cook. Lays it up. Vinyas. Leaves it for Galanucci. Galanucci pushes in. Oh, Curtis! And it's a corner kick. I thought the ref was pointing to the spot, but he was just pointing to the corner. Scared me there for a minute. Guigon to take this one. Lord looking. It's headed away. Lewis Binks runs out there. Lewis Binks is way off his spot. Echomea. Binks behind him. Vinicius, what a side tackle. Just destroyed his entire world. His third-born child probably felt that one. Murphy will head that one out. Alanucci, Cook. They're really keeping the possession here. Echomea sends it over to Milan's. And that's deflected. Binks gets it, and Murphy will go the other way. Drakes looks like they've showed up here today. Klaus Dahlgaard showing the Denmark coach why he should be on the international squad. Oko Flex plays it back to Curtis. Curtis, bad first touch, keeps control. Leaves it for Matty Longstaff, takes a shot in Wusu. And Wosu will get a hold of that one with ease. I'm going to praise the squad because they come out just firing on all cylinders today. We got the ball again. Murphy plays it back to Binks. Lewis Binks looks around. Nice little touch there. He'll go back to the Lord. Should always go back to the Lord. Binks, Vinicius. Vinicius takes a terrible lame duck shot. And that ball was dead on arrival. But somehow they get a corner out of that. I didn't even think we touched it. And uh, Lester has just went up on Newcastle. Cook takes a big shot. It's into the crowd. Let's get dangerous. Oh, Vinicius, good slide tackle there, but they'll keep control. Milan's looking. He plays it. Ooh, who did that go off of? Was that Murphy? It was. Murphy took that one right to the teat. I think that's how they say it in England. They don't have breast milk. It's teat milk. You can buy it aisle four. It's probably in a bag. Oh, go flex. We'll head that one away. Cook out here. We'll get, sends it in to Valrella. Galanucci. Biagiorno. Listen, and in Venice and Lord makes a big save. Everything was brilliant besides that shot at the end. It was in the Lord's hands at the end of the day, and it still remains 1-0 here in the 24th minute. I mean, they had great ball. They beat everybody. Binks, Binks getting a little slow at his step at age 27. A little bit worried about that. Osu over to Akamea. and send it over to Kelly. Hopefully not the R-type. 
lawns out there. We're giving them a lot of room for their uh, their backs to really work. Vinyas takes a shot. It's into the crowd. 27th minute here. Played up to Sam Curtis. Curtis dribbles. Oh, he just gives it up. Guagon gets it. Vinyas, he's making a move. Goes back to Milan's. Looking to set it up. It's got man. Vinyas heads it, but he couldn't keep it down. It goes out. Almost hits the cameraman. That ball will be part of the newspaper tomorrow. Matty Pollock up to Sam Curtis. Sam crosses it over to Murphy. Alex dribbles across the midfield. Lockhock Kit trying to get him involved. Here's Matty Longstaff. The Red Rocket sends it over to Curtis. Curtis dribbles in. Finds Alexis Derry. There's Delgar. Delgar, what a move, but it's cleared out. Had him freak. No, he was offsides. It looked like a dangerous move. But somehow it leads to an offsides. Drake's here with the throw in. Murphy sends it up. Here's Lockhock Kit. This is why we brought him in. Lockhock Kit spins around. He's got Matty Longstaff. Dribbles it down. Sends it in. It's deflected over the goal. We'll get a corner. Matty Longstaff to take this one. Red hair, red shoes. Sends it in. Binks looking for it. Looked like he was held down. No call by the ref. Milan's is off and running. Oh, Alexis Derry broke that up. We'll keep on going here. Throw in for the Drakes. Curtis and Oko Flex. Oko Flex pulls it back. Good move there. Gets it to Curtis. Longstaff. Longstaff sends it in. Dalgard and Uwusu. Another save. Dalgard really getting involved here. No dice on that one. 36 minutes. Let's go balance for the last part of the half. Let's actually slow down the tempo. Go a little bit more direct on the kicking. Andy Longstaff sends it forward. Couldn't get it to Oko Flex. Cook. Longstaff gets it back. Sends it up to Lockhock Kit. Lockhock Kit looks to play him on. Lockhock Kit double team fights for it. Keeps it. Lockhock Kit sends it back to Murphy. Murphy over to Vinicius. Vinicius sends it in. Giorno is there. Vinicius again over the Curtis. Curtis to Oko Flex. Oko Flex hands it in. <laughs> That's his first goal of the season, and it was a good one. Here in the 38th minute, the Drakes go up 2-0. He must have heard the whispers in the coaching room. We said we were thinking that he couldn't stay at this level. And finally, the flex man shows up and Oko Flex puts it in. Brilliant header. 2-0 Drake's lead right here before half. It looked like he, instead of heading it, it went off his chest. Couldn't really tell. DiGiorno back here. Sends it up to Cook. See, Cook and DiGiorno. What a better combination. And up to Gallinucci. He's the server. Oko Flex hyped up. Knocks that one out. 39th minute. We roll into here before halftime. Drake's leading 2-0. Looking much better against some of the lower tier teams in the Premier League. Top six, not so much. Komea to Cook. They'll send it back to Inuosu. Kelly to Gallinucci. Vinyas. Defense tries to collapse. They play through. Uigon. Lorella. He's over the top. There's Salonk. He's been playing well, but Lord blocks that one away. They'll get a corner. AFC Bournemouth trying to get something here before half. Trying to narrow it down. Already seen this. Let's go to the corner. Uigon to take it. Swings it in. Big swing on that one. Get a throw in on the other side. Oh my god. I'm not sure why Lord did that. It's still alive. Dalgard heads it out. Bijorno. Aurelia. Cook. Cook sends it over to Galanucci. galanucci has got room. Vinicius blocks that up. Alexis Derry sends it forward. Dalgard with it. Loses it to Varela. Come on, guys. Their coach is going bonkers over here on the sideline. Oko Flex will end up with it. One minute of extra time. We will go to the locker room. We've got a 2 0 lead. Dalgard with the early one. Oko Flex backing him up. The team playing halfway decent today. Don't want to change too much. All right, everybody's doing well. We're staying injury free. Just see if we can keep going. 
We'll kick off the second half. Drakes with a two-goal cushion. Murphy loses it out, and we'll continue here. Gomea. Oh, good Lord, what have I hit? Oh, it went out. Okay. I thought the game crashed. It just paused itself. Oh, they're out front. Vinyas is out. Takes the shot. And Federico Vinyas is going to get his first goal of the season and make it 2-1 here early. I must have broke the game when I did that. What a pass, though, from Gallinucci. I made fun of him all day, and he just got back at me. 2-1 here. Drake still lead. But it is very early. Very early here in the first half. Or the second half. Are we working the ball in the box? Yes. That goal really favors him. Uh-oh, it's up to Oko Flex. Oko Flex pulls it back. Back to Curtis. Curtis sends it over to Matty Longstaff. Longstaff tried to sweep it in there. Bajorno was there. Blocks it away. Murphy, <clears throat> the Longstaff, leaves it back out for Murphy. Murphy charges in. He'll pull it back. Goes back to Vinicius. Back to Murphy. Murphy, pass was broke up. Drake's with it here. For 50th minute. Oko Flex dribbles around. He finds Longstaff in the middle. Sends it up to Dalgard. Dalgard leaves it. Oh, they're saying he was offside. I think this ref, he's not giving any yellows today, but he's calling some really poor offsides. As soon as I say that, uh, a yellow goes out to Bournemouth. Oko Flex looking for that one. Couldn't get to it. Akomea was there. And they're on the... Ooh. Nicias will battle that one back. 52nd minute. Lewis Binks playing way up. Gets it to Longstaff. Over to Alexis Derry. Sends it in Oko Flex. Dalgard shoots and Wusu. Big save there. Now I'm curious if I'm saying his name wrong. Nathaniel? My name's Nathaniel, and I like to dance. Mosu. That's not right. This website's bunk. All right, let's keep going. Gallinucci, back to Kelly. Davinius, he's already led the one goal earlier. Bournemouth looking for an equalizer. Uagon, Cook, Ackline, Binks, heads at the Lord. Throw up to Curtis. Oko Flex plays it back. Matty Pollock getting involved in the offense. Curtis rolls it over to Longstaff. There's Dalgard. Dalgard tries to come in, takes a shot. It's blocked. They'll head it back. All right, we got some tired lads. Let's go for some changes here. Um, I'd say Derry. Yeah, we'll bring Derry back here. Let me bring in Michal. Bringing Sam Mather over here. Lockhaw Kid still getting back to form. Hopefully Michow can come in here. What's he upset about? He looked nervous. Dude, you're in the big leagues now. I didn't pay like millions of dollars for you to be nervous. Your bank account doesn't allow you to be nervous. 66 minute. 
Execute order 6-6. Six, six. Mather tries to find Dalgard. Pass was intercepted. Hey, Dr. Mega Man. Hello there. We are winning right now. Dalgard offsides again. When he's good, he's good. But when he's offside, he's way offside. 2-1 here. We hit the 70th minute. Free kick here. Sam Mather swings it in. Matty Pollock tries to get to it. A battle for that one. Tried to cross it in. He'll win another corner. Good for him. Pollock's getting worn out. I'm not being, being good left in for him. Binks couldn't get to that one. Sam Curtis is back here. For the Matty Longstaff. Longstaff charges in. Look like he took a shot. It's deflected. We'll get another corner. We'll go with this. We'll have him come in as a poacher. We'll let Dalgard uh, get the ball to him. All right, corner here. Dalgard sends it in. Binks off the top of the net. We really needed that one. Oh, that would have sealed the game, I think. Billy Akomea. We got Bursto in there now. Binks heads it up. Long staff, chested down, sends it over to Curtis. Curtis. We got Dalgard playing on the wing there. That could be dangerous. He'll send that in. Kelly heads it away. Curtis keeps the win. Derry Longstaff tries to send it into Dalgard. Dalgard couldn't get a hold of it. The counter's on. Ben Goodliff, his strong legs, gets there. They send it forward. Bursto couldn't get to that one. And Wosu is there. We'll stop that one. Let's go to the balanced. Let's uh, slow this down and be a little bit more direct. Let's float crosses in. And let's be a little bit more disciplined with the ball for the last 15 minutes. Elgard. Oh, good pass. Michal. Michal. Bad first touch, but Bursto gets it. Bursto takes a big shot. It's into the crowd. Oh, my Lord. Oh, heavens. Thank the heavens they were offside. Uh, we need to get Sam Curtis is wore out. I'm going to bring the youngster Drew Pickens in. And that's our last sub. <sighs> Boom. Oh, it hit off the back of his player. And that caused it to be offsides. 79th minute. Let's see if the Drakes can hold on to the three points here. Drew Pickett sends it up. There's Dalgard. Dalgard looking to send it across. Sends it back to Derry. Derry knocks it down. Longstaff takes a big shot at Ricochets. We'll get a corner. We'll keep the pressure on indeed. We'll praise the team here. Algard probably looking for Binks on that back post. It's coming in. Binks looking for it. Couldn't get to it. Andy Longstaff will pick it up. He's the garbage man. Sends it in to Binks. Binks to Longstaff. Over to Ben Goodlift. Dalgard's there. Dalgard was offsides. Three changes coming in here for Bournemouth. So they put fresh legs in for the last 10 minutes. They're really going to play here. Let's we'll see if we can seal the deal. Matty Longstaff back to Derry. Derry in good lift. Good lift. Goes over the top. Tries to hit Sam Mather. Mather is there. Mather sends it in. Michal takes a shot at Ricochets. And now Bournemouth have changed their form. They're going to a 4-2-3-1. We'll get a corner, though. Matty Longstaff to take this one from the far left. Binks looking out here. Oh, okay, we'll skip past this. Let's see what Binks can do. It's coming in. Binks. 
You can't out jump Diaz and that other guy. Let's uh, waste time. Let's slow the pace down. Free kick, Longstaff sends it in. Bursto couldn't hit it in. It hits off the post. And they'll clear it out. 85th minute. Bournemouth makes another change. Fernandez in. Drake's trying to hold on here. 89th minute. Free kick for Bournemouth. And die. We'll send it back to the Lord. Get ready to creep into the 90th minute. Drake's trying to hold on for the ever important three points here. Lord kicks it deep. Bursto heads it to Michal. Back to Bursto. He'll try to get it to Mathel or Mathis, and he doesn't. And now they're on the break. Oh, and they'll shoot it over the net. They had a chance there. We'll creep into the 90th minute for real. 91st minute, four minutes of extra time. And they're on the counter again. Longstaff, good defense there. It rolls out. Just do what we can to hold on here. I don't see how they got a corner on that. I didn't see any of us touch it. Who had gone to take this one? 91st minute. It's headed away. Bursto. I was going to say he should have fresh legs. Come on, guys. Another free kick. They'll send it in. We'll head it away. Sam Mather out there to dribble down. 93rd minute. He's got options, but he took the wrong one, it looked like. Looks like Bursto was ending up with that one. We've got the ball here, 94th minute. This should be it. Derry sends it up to Pickens, the youngster. Double team. Good move to get out of that one. Derry. Back to Pickens. Pickens dribbles it up. Knocks it past his opponent. Dalgard. They'll knock it out. We'll get a throw in. We could probably sit on this for about 15, 20 seconds. We creep into the 95th minute. Wait any minute. Second for the ref to blow the whistle. Pickens just acting like he's going to throw it. Come on, ref. Ref. There we go. Big three points for the Drakes. We needed that one. Two one win gives us three points. That isn't good, absolutely. All right. They understood they weren't playing at their best. I'll take it. There are a few hairy moments in the game, to say the least. Uh, there were smatterings of good fortune that came our way, for sure. All right. That moves us into 10th place with 12 points. Anything that keeps this mid-table, I'm happy with. We only have a plus one goal difference. We're like the dividing line between positive goal difference and negative. That just shows you how important every win is. We're going into an international window as well. So, all right, before we do this, I want to make sure my coaches are at the best of their level. All right, so hopefully, knock on wood, nobody gets hurt on international duty. That's the goal. We do have some under 18 and under 21 games that I'll let some players play in.
following Premier League matches have been chosen for live television coverage. Drake FC versus Leeds on December 9th. Drake FC versus Nottingham Forest on December 21st. And then the day after Christmas, we'll take on Aston Villa. We'll receive about $4 million and television money for the matches. That's what I like to hear. I'm not Kevin Nash. How dare you? I saw a picture. I guess Kevin Nash, people think he's going to be at the Royal Rumble this year. And there was a picture of him. and He's like super jacked. And they're like, Kevin Nash tore four quad muscles. Uh, <laughs> taking this photo. <laughs> All right, big match preparation here. Ready for this big Chelsea game coming up. I don't know how, how's Chelsea doing in the league? Eighth. So. Are they even doing that well in real life? No, they're 14th in real life. I was going to say, my boss is a big Chelsea fan, and he's like been really, really in a bad mood here lately. Hey, Logician, how are you doing? Hello there. General Kenobi. We're doing well right now. Let him play. Let's set everybody available for this next game. Monthly staff meeting. I think there's going to be an update to this as well. Um, going forward. Uh, we're going to leave him on that training. Alexis Derry. They want him to train killer balls. He's a defensive midfielder. Why? I don't care about him. Yeah, we're not going to give Ben Goodliffe a new contract. Even though his dad is a coach on our team, I just don't feel like it would be beneficial to do that. Three stars is not tremendous potential. Fazinho. Um, we'll increase his asking price. Hey, Lethal. Yeah, it's going to be wild this year. Um, doing the shuffle draft to make the teams at the start. I'm not going to have control of where a lot of people go. Um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, and having the will and deal to get a lot of people back on the team. Um, that's going to be, it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to make the best of the situation that I can with EA taking over the game. Over the last six months, Mason, Mason Burstow's game has declined a bit. Oh, AC's going to have a field day with that. I know. I know, Grimoth. 
I know, 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 I know. However many times he says it. My dad used to sing that song all the time. That's the only reason I it's ingrained into my memory. No, hey, hey, hey. I have been keeping up with FM24's new features. I've been, uh, they, some of, they've, they've looked good, but I feel like, oh, our backup goalkeeper pulled his groin. It's not good. Had to give Sunday Jero just some time to go do some stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to make a decision. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream FM24 or not. I'll just have to wait and see how I feel. Because we're going to be moving into Super Mega Baseball 4. And I may just make it a series. I don't know on YouTube. It just depends. I'll, have to, I'll just have to sit down and put some thought to it. My groin! My groin! If you ever pulled your groin, you know how that feels. And not the way you all are thinking. Boyd Marwood shined. Yay! Not playing Starfield. I'm going to stream a game. I'll go back to No Man's Sky. A space game. No, Binks. Oh, Pickens injured and Binks. Just some uh, thigh injuries. Y'all been having some thigh issues? Shots fired. Boom. I've been to space a time or two. Drake FC under 18's win. Good job, boys. Gus the bus had a 10 0 and three goals. That's pretty good when he's got a six finishing. Here, I thought he was going to be like some outstanding striker, and it's six. Oh, lethal. You and I think Xena's come on there and Zero's come on there. That was back when the game, I think they've added some stuff to that game. Then we all dug to the middle of the world with Double J and it never was the same after that. I got on there and done some of the like the monthly like I guess seasons or whatever they called, but it was just a lot of mining and you just had to let the game run. Like I would it found myself just starting it and then walking away while it did it. <clears throat> we have nine players on international duty right now. Anybody else have like super amazing like training? Um Rogers. Him on general rehab. Tommy Doyle, can we put him on general rehab? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of games that's added a n number of things. I know Gas Station Simulator got a big update. Um, then the CES that I played around with got a big update.
I'm waiting for Zero Zyvert to get a, another update to com calm it down. There's another game I've been toying with. That Let's School that we played got a big update as well. Tommy Doyle back. Were you pleased to see Mason Burstow scoring for his country? Why wouldn't I be? The team caught the replay of his goal during training and a large cheer went up. We couldn't be happier for him. I wonder if they get to see like my responses and they're very happy that like we watched it. Oh, my stress ball. I'll pull my hair out now. Joke's on you. I have no hair. I don't know what kind of mood I'm in today. I think it's those stupid steroids that put me on for my sinuses. Anytime I take steroids, I choose violence. Fulham coach Marco Rose is upset with Dre Kendall. Yeah, we'll put him in next game. It's a happy Friday mood. It's Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Did she ever do anything after that? Like, does she still sing? Does Rebecca Black do anything? I actually already have it pulled up over here, Grimoth. I literally saw, in all caps, put Friday song, and it brought it up. It also brought up Last Friday Night, TGIF by Katy Perry. And then some song by the Easy Beats, Friday on My Mind. In June 2023, Entertainment Weekly reported on what is described as an old meme asserting that the Friday song by Rebecca Black was secretly about the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Black herself had recently stated that she could not say whether the meme was true or not because she had not written the song. You heard it here first. Who thinks of an assassination of the president? It goes going to get down on Friday. Though, if you think about it, if there's one thing that Kevin Costner taught us, it was get down, Mr. President. So you're going to get down on Friday. I can see it. I, but why on earth would you say the song? Just say no. Why would you say I didn't write it, so I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> you got to say no. Oh, no, I thought of that Jimmy Ray song. Is it Jimmy Ray? No. Who wants to know? Who wants to know about me? Scruff, McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 606259, or whatever it is. Scruff McGruff, that's his name. I never understood why, like, I was a little kid that Saturday morning cartoons wanted me to take such an interest in Chicago. And then now I see what Chicago's turned into in my adult life, and I'm like, they tried. They really did. They really tried. Anthropomorphic bloodhound character created to increase public awareness of crime awareness. Public awareness of crime awareness. Alliteration at its finest. Or that's not even alliteration. That's just reuse of words. I don't even know what that's called. This is why I didn't teach English. Gotta be fresh. Gotta go downstairs. Gotta have my bowl. Gotta have cereal. Cereal. Seeing everything, the time is going, ticking on and on, everybody's rushing. Yeah, it's totally about an assassination, but kicking in the front seat, 
sitting in the back seat. Got to make my mind up. Got to make my mind up. Which seat can I take? But then it goes like the post course, party it, party it. Yeah, fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the week. I mean, wait, no. Uh, let me see. Okay, he was he was shot. That's what I thought right after noon. But it says seven forty five. We're driving on the highway, so there's not a lot of correlation. But didn't, wasn't there like a second part? Didn't she write a Saturday version too? Now, if it talks about somebody being put in the ground, yeah, maybe, maybe we're on to something. But Ogoflex is no longer worried about being replaced. Well, 